Introduction One significant aspect of conducting successful research is the research survey used for collecting primary data. A survey describes the features of large populations and sports research studies frequently use surveys to collect primary data. The aim of this paper is to highlight the steps necessary for a successful survey and to discuss the pros and cons of using interview data in research studies. The paper describes a research survey used to investigate the relationship between sports events and socioeconomic and cultural change. Steps were taken to conduct a survey research. A review of various research studies shows that specific steps are necessary when conducting a survey and this section compiles the significant steps required for an efficient survey. The first thing to do when conducting a survey is to identify the problem and set the goal of the survey. At this stage, the researcher uses existing data and related theories to develop a hypothesis and a general plan for the survey. The researcher then selects the research method, the sample-slash-target population, the sampling method, for example, the stratified sampling, and the sampling approach, for instance, the direct interview method. After identifying the sampling characteristics, the researcher creates a questionnaire, codes the questions, identifies the method of analysis, and performs a simulated analysis to test the validity and reliability of the questionnaire. The results of the validity and reliability tests are used to prepare the final questionnaire, which includes the title and a summary of the questionnaire's objective. The researcher must identify the tools required for implementing the survey and consider if it will be necessary to train the participants on how to use the questionnaire. At this stage, the researcher finalizes the supervisory methods that may be required when implementing the survey. One of the most important stages of a survey is the data collection stage. At this stage, the researcher mails the interviews, questionnaires, to the selected sample and checks the questionnaire for any coding errors. The data collection stage is followed by the data analysis stage, which involves the identification and correction of data entry errors, an assessment of the research aims and hypotheses, a presentation of statistical distributions, a correlation analysis, and a frequency analysis. The researcher completes the survey by interpreting the results and indications that have been identified through the data analysis. Pilot Survey The previous section of this paper discussed the steps required to conduct survey research. This section develops and presents a pilot survey to illustrate the steps identified in the previous section of the paper. Research Purpose and Hypothesis as earlier stated, the first step in conducting survey research is the identification of the research purpose and the research hypothesis by reviewing previous research studies and theories. The purpose of the pilot survey is to investigate the relationship between sports events and socioeconomic and cultural change and development. A review of previous literature and theories indicates that sports events have direct effects on the communities where they are performed. The following hypotheses are developed to test the relationship between sports events and socioeconomic and cultural change and development. Null hypotheses, there is no significant relationship between sports events and the socioeconomic and cultural development of communities. Alternative hypotheses, there is a significant relationship between sports events and the socioeconomic and cultural development of communities. Sampling method A random stratified sampling method will be used for the current research. The random stratified method is similar to the simple stratified method, but it involves a simple random selection of a segmented population. In the random stratified sampling method, the researcher selects a specific segment of the population and randomly selects a sample of the segmented population. The proposed research will involve the random selection of the population segments composed of the segment of the population of the community that is above the age of 18 years with the cognitive strength to report their perception of how sports events affect different variables. A sample of 1,000 participants will be selected using the random stratified sampling method. Questionnaire development 
The questionnaire will be designed to investigate the participants' perceptions of different variables that represent socioeconomic and cultural variables and the researcher will identify the variables by reviewing different literature. The questionnaire will comprise of closed-ended questions, which will allow the participants to respond to the questions by choosing from a list of options. The closed-ended questions will be used in the questionnaire to provide the researcher with data that is comparable and statistically analyzable. All questions in the questionnaire will be closed-ended questions and this will eliminate the use of interviews during the research. The interview process is advantageous because it provides clarification, detailed information, and personalized opinions. Nevertheless, it is expensive, less authentic, complex to analyze, and reaches a smaller population. Sports research studies require information from large samples and this makes it less advantageous to use interview questions instead of survey studies. The questionnaire will be designed to have two sections to enable the collection of demographic data and primary response data. A Likert scale will be used to collect the participants' responses and perceptions of the effect of sports events on the variables. Validity and Reliability the validity and reliability of the questionnaire represent the accuracy and consistency of the experiment. For the pilot research, the content, the internal validity, and the external validity will be considered. The validity and consistency of the questionnaire will be measured by representing the responses of the selected sample on a scatter plot and observing the positions of the points on the scatter diagram. Data collection, analysis, testing the hypotheses and drawing conclusions. Data will be collected by emailing the questionnaires to the sample population. The respondents will have to answer the questions and return the questionnaire via email. The responses to each question will be codified and transferred to Microsoft Excel as numerical data and this will make it easier for the researcher to analyze the data and identify the relationship between the different variables. An analysis of variance, ANOVA, will be used to investigate the relationship between sporting events and socioeconomic and cultural variables. The hypotheses will be tested by considering the levels of significance between sports events and each socioeconomic and cultural variable derived from the ANOVA tests. The null hypotheses will be rejected if the p-value is less than 0.05 and this will indicate that there is no significant relationship between sports events and socioeconomic and cultural variables. The researcher will draw conclusions based on the results of the analysis. You can find this and many other essay samples on our website studycorgi.com.